love to learn about new iOS 16 features, tips, tricks, settings that you need to use. So in today's video, I'm going to share a few iOS 16 features that you need to be using. But before I get started, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this type of content and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Set App is an incredible cross-platform suite which gives you access to over 200 iOS and macOS applications without any additional cost. You only need to pay for your subscription and choose the apps that you would like to use. Now, a great benefit is that you can start a free trial when you use my affiliate link listed down below in the description. So starting off on iOS 16, you can select a lot of different photos and add all of them to an album or adjust date and time for all of them at the same time. To do this, the only thing that you need to do is, of course, select all of the photos, press and hold, and then you will see all of the options right here. So you can duplicate, you can hide, you can create a slideshow, you can add all of them to an album, you can adjust date and time, or adjust location. The best thing is that you now, you don't need to add one photo at a time to an album. Simply select all of them and press right here. Next, you now have the option to create a smart folder on the notes application. So make sure you open the notes app, press on the bottom left icon and right here, press on make into smart folder. You can select one of these options right here and all of the sorting will be done for you automatically. So if I choose the created, for example, I can create a folder with all of the notes that I created in the last seven days, for example. If I press done and done again, you will see a new smart folder showing up right here. So I've created three different notes in the last seven days. So all the notes inside of the folder were added automatically. Now I'm gonna talk about the reminders application. There are two new things here. First one is that you can now pin your lists at the top of the page. So simply press and hold on the on the list that you want to pin and tap on pin or slide right and then tap on pin. Something else you can do is save a list as a template. So I'm going to open this reminders and press on the menu icon and right here there is an option called save as template. So make sure you tap on it and then you can include completed reminders or not. I'm going to leave this disabled. Simply tap on save again. And as you've seen, it went directly to that area. Now, if I want to create a new list, you can just tap on add list. There is a template setting. So now simply choose the template that you want to use, then rename it. I'm going to put as a test and press on create. Now this list will be using the reminders template. Next, there are three new features that you need to use on iMessage. So the first thing that you can do is that you can undo a sent iMessage. So I'm going to send a message to my husband. Hi, how are you? I'll send it. And now if by any chance I want to delete this, simply press and hold and then press on undo send. As you've seen, the message was deleted. He will know that I unsent a message, but he will not have the ability to read that message. And you have up to two minutes after it was delivered to delete it. Now I'm going to send him another message because you can also edit messages right now. So you can do the same thing, press and hold, and then tap on edit. So if I want, I can simply add, how are you to this text and then send it again. He will know that I added it, that message, but again, he won't have the ability to read the previous message and you have up to 15 minutes after it was sent to edit a message. 
And third, you can now mark messages as unread. So the only thing that you need to do is go back to all of the chats list, tap and hold, and then tap on mark as unread. And as you can see, the message will be showing up right here and you will have the blue icon. And not only iMessage received new features, but there are four new features available in the mail application. So the first one is that you can now undo a sent email. So let me send an email to test at me.com. This is a test and test. So I'm going to hit send and now there's a button right here, undo send. By default, this button is shown for 10 seconds, but you can change its duration in settings. So make sure you open settings, tap on mail, go all the way down, press on undo send delay, and you can choose between all of these options. I'm going to put 30 seconds. Next, still on the mail app, you can now schedule to send an email. The only thing that you need to do is press and hold on the send button. So press and hold and you have the option to send now, send 21 tonight, so 9 p.m. tonight, send 8 a.m. tomorrow or send later. And then you can choose the specific date and time to send your email. And just like Gmail, the mail app now reminds you if you haven't received a reply for a while. You can ignore the follow-up if you want, or you can then send that follow-up email. And number four, if there is an email that you want to respond at a later time, you can now create a reminder for that in the mail app. So if I received an email and I don't want to reply right now, but I need to be reminded to reply, otherwise I will forget. Simply swipe right and tap on remind me. Then you have all of these options, remind me in one hour, remind me tonight, remind me tomorrow, or remind me later. And then again, you can choose a specific date and time to be reminded. And last but not least, let's talk about the Maps application. Whenever creating a new route, you can finally add multiple stops to it. So for example, if I want directions from Atlantic Station to Target, and I want to stop at a Starbucks on the way, I can now do this. So I can simply drag this up I can change um, the priority, let's say, and I can add multiple stops to my route. And these are a few iOS 16 features that you must use. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.